Thank you for handing this again. Thank you. 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 Thank of Puntland as a state in Somalia. The state of Puntland lies at the northeastern part of Somalia. It occupies one third of the Somali territory and comprises one fourth of the Somali population. It is strategically located and is the only state that borders both the Red Sea and the Indian Ocean. It is also the gateway to the Gulf of Aden. Puntland is the most peaceful state of Somalia. It is the oldest federal member state of Somalia and established in 1998, way before the formation of the federal government in 2004. Let me now delve into the historic relationship between UAE and Somalia. Somalia and UAE has historical ties that predate the independence of both states. UAE is the biggest trading partner of Somalia. Thousands of Somalis sought safety and succor in UAE after the collapse of the Somali state. Tens of thousands live in UAE and have gained employment in this country. Moreover, UAE is and has been a strategic partner <coughs> in the fight against terrorism, illegal human trafficking, illegal fishing, and piracy. Their support is vital and is in indispensable for the safety of the Somali people. Recently, DB World has signed an agreement with Puntland. It is the biggest investment in Puntland since the collapse of the state in 1991. This investment is important for the development in the region, creating thousands of jobs for the unemployed youth. It also creates a network externality which brings more and more investment to Puntland. It also contributes to the security and development of Somalia, what we call the security development nexus. You cannot have development without security and you cannot have security without development. Now, Somalia is the federal government. Why do we have chosen, and it's important to understand the concept of federalism in Somalia. The idea of federalism was to establish a state government is responsible for certain government functions whilst ensuring federal government that upholds the nation's unity. So Maria's collapse of 1991 was the result of centralized power and the Mogadishu city state. Somalia is not Mogadishu and Mogadishu is not Somalia. Federalism issues that a national government does not have dictatorial powers and that the nation's political future is discussed, negotiated and shared among the Somali political entities in the interest of the nation. We support a federal government that upholds the federal constitution by protecting the federal government's rights and also respecting the rights of the state government in their areas of, of jurisdiction. It's important to understand that under federalism, all government powers is exclusive, concurrent, or residual. Residual means powers not explicitly declared in the federal constitution belongs to the states. It's important that all government institutions, federal and state, work together toward a common goal of saving Somalia. Federalism is supposed to ensure cooperation among federal and regional states, especially security cooperation and business, business competition. And in the federal constitution, it provides the following uh, powers. Article 54 of the Bundan Constitution stipulates that the government of Puntland may enter into agreements 
with national and foreign companies and can assign licenses for benefiting from natural resources. Also, Article 142 of the Federal Constitution stipulated until such time that all federal member states of Somalia are established and the adopted federal member state constitutions are harmonized with the Somali federal constitution, the federal member states existing prior to the provisional adoption of this provisional constitution shall retain and exercise the powers endowed by, the, by their own constitution, uh, accepted by both constitutions. Uh, thank you again for having me, and uh, I will welcome your questions and you may have some. Thank you. Any questions? Please. If you could just state your name and your title for the question. Uh, hello, I'm Noah Browning. Rogers, and I have two questions. Uh, given the events that have been unfolding in Mogadishu in the last week, uh, is there any concern that the Qatari UAE dispute will uh, further destabilize Somali politics? And following in on that, uh, given the UAE's military moves in, in Yemen, uh, its new base in Eritrea, is there any concern that uh, the Red Sea area on, on both sides of its coast will become a kind of um, sphere of influence, uh, you know, a competition between various powers, namely, uh, you know, the UAE and Iran, Qatar and the UAE, and you know, even even Security Council powers like China and you know, France, United States. Thank you. Uh, I think two good questions. Um, and the first one. Regarding the relationship between UAE and Somalia, in any diplomatic relationship, uh, sometimes there are hiccups. We believe uh, this, this will not last long uh, because the relationship and brotherly uh, cooperation between Somalia and UAE supersedes and uh, is more important than the arguments. I think this is a will that will pass soon and I, uh, I'm sure uh, the relationship between Somalia and, uh, and UAE uh, is last, uh, long lasting and uh, uh, it will improve hopefully in the uh, near future and, and I think uh, as I said this week uh, will be overcome soon. Um, as far as the, uh, the Red Sea and the, uh, uh, I'm not following the politics that uh, taking place in Yemen but Butland, as you know, uh, is very, there's a thin water between Butland and Yemen. Uh, and obviously that's why I was discussing the, uh, the cooperation between UAE and Somalia regarding uh, the trafficking uh, of minority actors uh, such as uh, Shabaab, ISIS, uh, you know, uh, illegal fishing, illegal uh, uh, human trafficking. These are the areas uh, that we really closely cooperate with the UAE. Um, and uh, uh, Buna being the gateway uh, to the Gulf of Aden and uh, to the uh, Middle East, uh, it makes it more important for us to have that relationship and that support uh, from the uh, UAE government. Thank you, Mr. Questions? Another question. Yes, question. <laughs> yeah, uh, Abdul Musa from Friends of the Home Foundation from London. Uh, Mr. President, nice having you here. Uh, my question to you is what your consequences will be if the cooperation, military cooperation, and um, piracy and security cooperation you have with the UAE. If that is being vacated, what would be the consequences, do you think? Uh, I hope God forbid that will not happen. Uh, the, uh, that uh, relationship between uh, uh, the support of UN regarding uh, the, the illegal activities on the coast of Somalia, such as uh, I, I say, you know, uh, the, I haven't emphasized enough about the strategic importance of Putin. More than uh, it is the 
between 24,000 to 30,000 ships uh, go through the uh, Gulf of Aden off the coast of Sudan. Uh, that's why it's important uh, that the support of the UAE uh, to the uh, 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 Butland Maritime Police Force is very important. Uh, because the world economy, world commerce, uh, depends the safety passage uh, of that uh, territorial waters. So therefore, uh, I'm sure uh, the support will stay. Uh, uh, and also, uh, because it's, it is, it's important for both countries, not only for Somalia, not only for Brooklyn, but also uh, it helps the specific security of UAE. Uh, we are at the first line of defense uh, against terrorism. We are the first line of defense against piracy. We are the first line of defense against uh, in, uh, illegal human trafficking. All those are important also for the safety and security of the UAE. So this is a mutually beneficial relationship, not only for Somalia, but also for UAE too. Question over here. يوسف معرض من الاتحاد انا سؤالي ايه هي المجالات اللي ممكن يكون فيها تعاون من بورتلاند والامارات وهل تعتقدون بدور قطر لاسكاء الخلافات؟ Just read it, the question, Sonny. You could just read it, the question for me. Translation, translation. What are they going to be? 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 I tell you the question, Mr. President. Yes. Said about what are the areas, in your opinion, of cooperation between the UAE and Portland, and do you think that Qatar has a role in fueling the dispute? Um, the area of cooperation between Portland and UAE uh, um, is a start now. Uh, the DB World is uh, investing in the port of Posaso, the expansion of the port of Posaso, uh, investing more than $336 million. Uh, uh, this is the beginning. Uh, we expect more in the area of industrial uh, zones, uh, free zones, uh, infrastructure development, uh, cooperation in the area of security. As I said, uh, the UAE is supporting uh, Bunda and Britain Police Force, uh, over 2,000 2, uh, men. Uh, who are engaged in uh, protecting Portland and Somalia from all kinds of illegal activity that I have already mentioned. Um, the area we are expecting more in the area of social development, such as education, health, water and sanitation. So these are the areas of cooperation that we are expecting to have more and more uh, with the UAE. The Gadin, uh, uh, Gadin, I think uh, the, uh, the issue of Gadin in Somalia will be a nuisance, and uh, later on, uh, the long uh, standing relationship between UAE and, uh, and Somalia uh, will gain more and more. Hello, I'm Charlie Mitchell from The National. Uh, a newspaper in Abu Dhabi. Um, there seems to be a, um, a consensus that the central government in Mogadishu is unable to um, provide many of the things that the states in Somalia require. Um, it seems that that's part of the reason that Somalia ended up getting uh, involved to an extent in the Gulf dispute. So, so, I, so I wondered if you disputed that notion and if um, and, and sort of where you saw a few settlements to land uh, within uh, within that uh, that you know uh, um, backdrop. Um, obviously, uh, you are stating the facts, um, and that's true, uh, because you know the 
uh, reach of the uh, federal government is very limited in regard to Somalia. Uh, it's our government, it's the our federal government, obviously, uh, but at the same time, um, uh, this country is getting out of, uh, of the uh, long uh, uh, civil wars, and uh, it takes a while uh, for the collapsed state to bring those pieces back together. We are in the process of doing that. We are in a healing process. We need to uh, address these issues very carefully, uh, bringing back Somalia, together Somalia, and making it a viable state uh, will take uh, uh, a while. Uh, but we are getting there. Uh, we, we see, I can see, we see the, the light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, uh, but we can reach there uh, by consensus, uh, uh, mutual understanding, uh, between the, the, the center and the periphery, and uh, we're doing that. Uh, uh, we're doing that, and uh, hopefully uh, the, we will uh, gain our lost bounty, and uh, Somalia uh, will have will be a useful member uh, 